Salute, man. Rick's Kicks, man. We back in the building. Got another video for you. Um, today, we're going to do the Pony City Wings, man. In my opinion, they're a classic shoe. Um, definitely represent an iconic moment in basketball when um, Spud Webb had the, uh, won the dunk contest. He was wearing these. Um, you know, a lot of people refer to them as the Spud Webbs. Um, I call them the Spud Webbs. Uh, he won the dunk contest in like 86, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I retro these when I was in seventh grade, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had these ones in white, black, and red, the ones that I'm about to show y'all. My man Seven had the, um, he had the uh, white, blue, I think he had the white, blue, and red joints. You know what I mean? But we was the only ones with them, man. You know? Seventh grade in the 90s, retro the ponies. I did that. But yeah, man, so you know what? Before we get into the video, let me show y'all the box. You know. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure if this is gonna show up backwards on the camera. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up backwards on the camera. Pardon if it's not, because I got the camera facing me. So I hope that shows up right. But um before we get into that, let me just show y'all, man. Show y'all young bucks who spud where it was, man. Five foot seven in a dunk contest. I didn't actually to win it. Nobody believed. Maybe he had dunked one and that'll be it. You know, I knew the repertoire of dunks I could do. I had a dunk since 12th grade. And now... He's 5'7". <laughs> Hops. This is crazy. <laughs> He's 5'7". The clear crowd favorite. Webb took everyone by surprise. You know, this was an iconic moment, man. And he was going up against Dominique Wilkins. Told me he never had anything prepared, didn't practice for it. So therefore, maybe he thought that how high it was. Assortment would be good enough to get through. Power dunker, too. Everybody needs to jump. He's 5'7". Look how high his feet is off the ground. And with a slam dunk title on the line, Spud saved his best for last. Look, girl, you can tell I'm leaving. Mike, Rob, and... Even MJ there, like... That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Salute to Spud Webb, man. Salute to Spud Webb. You know what I'm saying? Like, iconic, man. Iconic. So, uh, let's get into the shoe. Of course, the box, you know. Again, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be reversed on the screen. But if it is, y'all know what it is. Let's get into it. Comes with some white laces, of course. And I'm thinking about grabbing a couple. I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep the red laces in them. Um, but I just like having extra laces and I can throw those laces in some of my other sneakers because you never rewash laces, man. Just buy new ones. So when I get shoes with extra laces, I just keep them in a the tuck. If I go out, you know what I mean? Get one of my laces get a little dusty. Don't rewash your laces, man. Oh man. Let's get into it. And after, I, I will also put some on-feet uh, shots in this video as well. But, you know me. I like, to, I, like to, I like to show the joints with the tag hanging. Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Fire. Let's get a screen. Look at this. That's craziness. Look at the leather on that joint. This is craziness. Got the pony on the back. This is this is the pony logo right here. That little V. But you see the leather in these joints? You see how the red make it pop? Look at that. City wings. You know what I mean? And of course, what I'll do is hike it up a little bit. That way I could rock them with the tag on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. All my sneakers that come with a tag, I leave the tag on them until they fall off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just, just like the way my sneakers like that. Here's the other one. 
These joints is crazy. I think I'm going to get a couple more. I, if I could find the white and uh, blue and red pair like my man had, I'm going to grab those too. But these is crazy. And then when you see the pictures that I post at the end of this video with them on feet. Because like I said in, in a lot of videos, man, I'm the type of person that I could look, I could just look at a sneaker and already know what I'm going to do with it, how I wear it, what I wear with it, how they look on my feet and all that, man. It's not about the sneaker that you have on your feet. It's about how you wear them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys, you guys be walking around thinking you getting away with something because you wearing, you know, whatever, Jordan, Yeezy, uh, LeBron or whatever, but... When you put the sneaker on your feet, you got to put it on your feet right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, I've had on, you know, something as simple as the Air Force One. Uh, my wife bought me the suede blue and white Air Force Ones some years back. And I was standing next to another dude who had them on, and he was looking at my feet. And we had the same shoe on. These is fire. These is fire, man. I mean, you know, this is crazy. We quarantine, you know, hope everybody is, uh, you know, just in the crib chilling. Doing what y'all need to do to stay out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this, this should have passed soon, man, but. This is the Pony City Wing, man. You know, I kind of just want to show y'all, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of jewels out there, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of fire sneakers out there, man. Don't get it twisted, man. You know, this not a fad for me or nothing. I've been doing this, like I've been, I've been, I've been doing this, man. You know, so hey, man, help me spread the word, man. This is Rick's Kicks. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Rick underscore BHR. Uh, if you're coming across this video, um, head over to Instagram and give me a follow, man. And um, I'll be back soon with another one, man. I got a couple more. I'm, I'm trying to get these two joints, man. As soon as I went to order them, of course, sold out of my size. So now I got to track them down. But once I get them, you'll see them. But uh, yeah, man. It's Rick's Kicks, man. These is crazy. Like, these is crazy. They'll be out in the summer, you know. I'll, I'll bring them out in the summertime with me and my wife. Me and my wife going to date or something, man. You know, certain things I don't bring out when I'm with my kids and all that. This is some, you know what I'm saying? This is something I'm going to step out with me and the wife. Just me and the wife only in them, you dig? But, uh, yeah, man, this is Rick's Kick. So, follow me on Instagram. Hit me up, man. Uh, drop a comment. You know, let's talk some sneakers, man. This is my type of wave right here, so... I know it's going to be hard to get them subscribers up because y'all like to see the Jordans and the Yeezys and the hype and the this and the that. But, you know, it's other, it's other, it's other type of sneakerheads out there too, man. Salute to all y'all, man. But, yeah, man, plus I'm just having fun with it, man. So, about to get out of here, man. It's Rick's Kicks. Follow me on Instagram, Rick underscore BHR. Salute.